A new apartment complex in Vista wants to bring more beauty and vibrant arts to the culture district. And we got an exclusive look inside the new found lofts. The building has 42 units, all with complete smart home features. The owner says the complex aims to celebrate individuality and hopes to draw more artists to the area. And we hope that people that connect to that idea of freedom of expression and the importance of art in our culture and community are the kind of people that will, will want to live here and find value in that. A new 60-foot mural is being unveiled there tomorrow morning, building on the complex's commitment to the arts. It's said to be the largest mural in North County. Now, for a lot of aspiring cooks, opening their own restaurant is the ultimate dream, but thanks to a new San Diego County ordinance, Cooking and selling food out of your very own kitchen is now very possible. CBS 8's Tim Blodgett caught up with a woman who received the county's very first certification. And for Diana Tapiz, the best way to get everyone around a table is with a home-cooked meal. Happiness is as simple as a, as a delicious plate of food for, for my family. And Deanna I. is a chef, and she has been cooking traditional and fusion Mexican meals since she was a small girl. So. That's the secret ingredient, made with love, made fresh. <laughs> Two years ago, she had the idea to start her own restaurant. What she didn't foresee is the mounting expenses and the minute details that make a kitchen successful. For many of us that don't have $50,000 saved up for the commercial kitchen, $200,000 or $400,000 to open a restaurant, I tried my hardest. It was like three months at a commercial kitchen. I didn't have a babysitter for my kids. I wasn't ready. But she still had the dream and talent that made people go wild for the food she cooked. She always told me, Diana, there is no good birria in town. That's when she learned about micro enterprise home kitchens. Earlier this year, San Diego County approved the ordinance that allows people like Deanna to turn their home kitchens into a business. In order to be granted this right, Deanna needed to get a food safety certificate and submit to inspections from the county. Earlier this week, Deanna was the first person in San Diego County to receive her micro kitchen permit. That's such a great honor as a woman, as a Mexicana, of that for me is a wonderful, wonderful news. I now that she's got the approval from the county, the real fun begins. Deanna's Tres Fuegos Cocina and Chula Vista will be cooking up some of her favorite dishes, like enchiladas or her famous birria ramen. Deanna is hoping to have a soft open for Tres Fuegos next week, but is looking to have her grand opening on April 25th, finally fulfilling her wish of making delicious food on her terms right here in her kitchen. We're not processed kitchen. We don't stand for that. This is what we want to bring out to the public here. And after you order from Tres Fuegos, Antonio here will come deliver your food. Hello. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your order. For CBS, I'm Tim Blodgett.